Three. <laughs> we good? All right, so we got some generational stuff going on here uh, with IE Sports Media. We got Josh Eastern, who's down in Florida broadcasting soccer. We got Sam Rumsa, who's up in Indy broadcasting auto racing, among many other things. Guys, it's great to see you. Weird that we have to be in Iowa City to meet up. That's all right. But here That's we right. are. So let's. How are we feeling? We're what is it? We got about what four hours till the game starts. Yep. So what's our feelings? What's our thought process right now? My confidence has been building. Okay. Early in the week, I was a little more pessimistic. Now I'm I'm feeling some of the vibes. What's the vibes are good. What's what's turning the vibe for you? College football Saturday. Yes. Just, we got we got a grill. We got drinks. There was we like got a people. We there got was like a, there was like a five minute segment on game day where they just talked about Indiana Iowa. Also had a great story. I, I heard this. This yeah. story yes. was great. I, Went in the locker room so we could either forfeit or we're gonna go out there have the biggest comeback ever and they won. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm, I'm a little bit worried that it's been misting this morning. I don't think that's great for IU's passing game. So it makes I, me a little nervous. I have a theory on this that Kirk Ferentz has started a cloud seeding he's, operation. He's turned, yeah, he's like he's up in a Piper Cherokee somewhere flying around and basically like pulling a Qatar, you know, like he's making it rain for, for no good reason other than to make the field suck. But it might stop. There's nothing, on the, there's nothing on the radar. I hope. Like, look at the radar. There's no green. It makes no sense. But it should be dry by kickoff. So if it's dry by kickoff, what do you think? I, I, I still think Iowa's lines. I'm worried about Iowa's lines. I'm worried that they're just going to run the ball down our throat. Our defensive. If, if Iowa was a passing team, I'd feel great. Our secondary line back and forth, I'd feel great. Right. I'm worried about the French's a little bit. Yeah. And, I, you know, getting Iowa. stops on third and twos, those kind of things. That's what I'm worried about. I just want a close game, and I'll be happy. Iowa in your city is kind of like parking operations. Like they're not they're not sexy, but they'll give you a ticket at the end of the day and you'll be you'll be poorer as a result of it. So I am kind of concerned about that. But vertical passing game, IU offensive line, Michael Penix, like how to like that's really the key for IU at the end of the day. If they can keep, keep him upright. To keep him upright, no injuries, no and really it's a psychological thing, Josh. Like yes. he's gotta feel good about being yes. in the pocket. Confidence is key. That's Trust the knee, I trust Michael Pettis. Exactly. We'll have more later. It's great to see these guys. It's great to see you folks. Hopefully you're getting juiced up wherever you're at. We'll be back with more later.